Hello everyone! I'm going to be making a seven layer, I think? Seven-ish layer dip. A vegan version, of course. And these are some of the ingredients I'll be using. I might put lettuce in there. I'm going to put tomatoes. I'm using my homemade pico without cilantro because my daughter's not a big fan of cilantro. But I'm going to get started and show you how I'm going to do this. Now I'm just using a small plastic container because the glass containers I have are fairly large and I'm just making enough for me and my daughter. I'm not making enough to entertain. And I'm just going to put the ingredients in as they kind of fit in this bowl or this whatever <laughs> container. I'm starting off with some refried beans and these are vegan. These just make sure you look um, at your ingredients if you're concerned. This has water pinto beans, green chilies, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and soybean oil. Make sure you get nothing with lard. I picked one up once and it had lard in there which is pig fat and I was really upset. Anyway, you're going to first to spread some of these refried beans on the bottom. So you're going to create a layer there. I might put a little bit more to kind of you see, just make it even at the bottom. Alright guys, so I took two avocados and I made my own guacamole. I make it all the time, just some avocados, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lime juice, and this should be a good amount to fit on here. So you're going to spread that layer next. Okay, so I have my layer of guacamole. And now this is when you can use store-bought salsa if you want, but because I've been making lots of pico lately and my pico is chunky, I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna use my pico. Ooh, looks yummy. I'm loving this pico. It is so easy and cheap to make your own homemade pico. I got my layer of my pico, or your salsa. Now the next thing we're gonna do, guys, is make our delicious um, taco flavored sour cream, vegan. And I am using this um, coconut milk based plain flavored sour cream. I like it because it's got the good thickness. You can use any one you like, any plain one. Silk's plain um, yogurt tastes, I like the taste of it, but it is thinner. So it's not as thick. I really like this for the thickness. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take the yogurt, AKA vegan sour cream, and you're gonna mix it with taco seasoning. And because I'm making a smaller batch, I'm just gonna play it by ear. I'm gonna add some seasoning to it and just mix. Okay, so I've got the top off. Before I was vegan, I would always use sour cream. Um, sorry, I would always use plain yogurt as sour cream. So it just seems to make sense that I do the same now. I'm just trying to I'll put this back over here, play it by ear in terms of how much I want to put into the bowl. Probably that, but guess what? I can make more if need be. I'm just gonna sprinkle I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say that that's probably three quarters of a cup of the yogurt and half a tablespoon of the taco seasoning. Let's see if that's enough. You're just gonna mix it together. It may taste a little. Oh, that's good, but I'm gonna add a little bit more. Again, adjust as you see fit. You could even add some hot spice in here. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. And I'm just putting it on top. Okay guys, so far so good. This is delicious. I just tasted the um, my sour cream dip. Um, you know, you could have more salsa, more pico, whatever, but the dish is only so big in any case. All right, now I am adding this new queso I got from Costco. The plant-based queso style dip. Now this is a little bit, it's not as firm, 
but it's okay. I'm going to put that on top of here. Then the cheese, maybe a little less, but I mean, if I put the cheese and the olives and the tomatoes, so we're kind of a little bit more than seven layers, I guess, but let me get to it. Okay, so I just added a layer of the queso. Now comes the time for the cheese. I mean, that is a cheese, so I'm, I just have some of the Earth Island cheddar. I'm going to sprinkle it on top. I have also the Violife in case I needed more, but this might be enough. I mean, this is a lot for a dip, let's face it. Okay, guys, I think this is enough for the cheese. Last thing, olives and tomato. And I think I'm not gonna put the lettuce. We can add it if we want, just sort of individually. And for this, I'm gonna use some little grape tomatoes and I'm just gonna slice them up and put them on top. All right, guys, so you can do the amount you like. I just took that handful and I've cut it. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top. There's just so much to this dip already. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle my tomatoes on top and then the olives. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? So we've got the refried beans, the guacamole, the pico, the sour cream, the cheese, the tomatoes, and then the olives. Okay guys, so I've just taken a handful of the black olives. I'm gonna sprinkle them on top as well. And just like that, you've got your vegan seven layer dip. So the only thing to do now is to taste it, but let's just take a look at it first, okay? There we go. Oh yeah. That looks good, and it's hefty. Okay, so all that's left to do now is taste it. Okay, so, I don't know, here's one chip for you, Co. We're gonna tr just try it. I mean, I, I guess it, ideally you wanna get as much of it on I think on I only it. got two layers. I'm trying to get all the layers. Well I, well, I got a lot of layers. It's a lot on one chip, though. It's good. You like it? Yeah, the two layers I have. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to scoop it out. I mean, it's a lot. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? No, because we can put some in the fridge. It is tasty. Add more spice to this if you want. Add more vegan cheese on top if you want. But because I had the case, so I didn't overload it with the cheese. Um, slight the cheese shreds, and I guess that's all. Anything else to add, Cole? I'm getting a bigger chip. I know that's exactly what I'm thinking. We need bigger chips. I had the long strips, but the last few strips are um, short. You know, they're at the bottom of the bag. I want to taste my guacamole. It's really good guacamole. Well, there we go. All right, guys. Mmm. Nice. That's the all for now. The good. Okay. Apparently only the olive is good. <laughs> but, uh, I guess that's all for now. We're gonna eat. Cause it's yummy. Definitely something for a party, for a gathering, for yourself, whatever. It's a lot, even this little bit. It's definitely a good amount. And I will see you guys in the next video.